When I was very young, just a few years after my dad left us, my mom won a free turkey for Thanksgiving dinner. The only catch was that we had to pick up the turkey at a store several miles away, up at Inger Avenue, if I remember correctly. My mom didn't have a car back then, and I guess she didn't like the idea of having us kids at home alone, or even making the walk to the store and back, for that matter. So she sat us down and gave us our options. We could pick up the turkey and have a turkey dinner, something we hadn't seen in our home for many years and wouldn't see again for several years more. Or she could get the cash value, which would also help. Somehow, in the end, we all agreed to pick up the turkey. My mom rolled out our little red wagon to hold the turkey, and off we went one weekend morning. All along the way there, all Ira and I did was fight and complain. If you think walking several miles is tough, try doing it with two kids who won't stop fighting or complaining. My mom threatened to turn around several times, but she kept going, and eventually we made it. I remember the smile she had when she redeemed her winning coupon. I remember the size of the turkey, all round and fat, glistening and frozen solid in our red wagon. Then began the journey back home. My mom pulled this beast for a long time. The bird had to weigh at least 15 pounds, though years and nostalgia have probably added a few pounds to it. When she tired, Ira and I took turns pulling. Somewhere in there, we began singing There's a Hole at the Bottom of the Sea, which is a song that works very simply until you begin adding things that go in the hole at the bottom of the sea. If I remember correctly, we combined it with a game of I Spy so that There's a Hole at the Bottom of the Sea turned into There's a Turkey in a Wagon on a Sidewalk on a Street in a City on a Planet out in Space in a Hole at the Bottom of the Sea, and so on. I seem to remember the wagon breaking down on the way home, though my memory may be faulty on that. All I know was we were all exhausted when we finally pulled the wagon up in front of our house on the corner of Arapaho and Lincoln. Our house. It was ours. We painted it. We broke it. We chased the wasps away from it. We even burned it down a little. Well, some of us did. The fact of the matter, though, was that it was ours. We had our turkey. We had our home. We had each other. What more would we need? 